Welcome to the Glue and Capri Musical Motivational Movement. Long time no see Facebook, or as Facebook or TV says, social media. This is Yolanda Adams' Never Give Up from her 2001 CD, Believe.
if I could sing like that, y'all, I'd never shut up. That was Yolanda Adams' Never Give Up from her 2001 CD, Believe. I swear my pinky toe, I'm about to shock some of y'all. But when I was coming to my revelations about uh, being gay, I was going to a concert and Yolanda Adams was one of the people on the tickets for the concert. And by this time, I had never heard of her. And um, I was questioning God, am I gay? Is, is, is this what you want me to do? Because I was born and raised in the church. And I guess I could say born in the church. You know, that's, that's, that's how the Southerners do it. But um, growing up in church, I have this tie to religion. But I'm not religious because I've seen things and I've started thinking for myself, yet I still feel that there's something greater than myself that's controlling everything here on, on earth. And at the blink of an eye, as they say, it can be over. I don't know if it's Jesus, Allah, Buddha, Jehovah, Michael, or Oprah, but something's making me over. And to that thing, I've always been tight. So on the way to this concert, I was going through it. Yet, when Yolanda Adams and all her femininity walked out on the stage, I was done. I had my answer. I said, oh, okay, God, this is how, how, how things are going to be. Because everything that was about this female turned me on in such a way that I knew. I knew. I was like, yeah, this is it. From her, her physical, her voice, being a school teacher, her, her confidence on stage and just... Her love for God and that thing that that she had to overcome to get to where she was at and making decisions on whether she wanted to continue to teach or become a singer, you know, identified. So it was like, ooh, I like that. So for me, that was my coming out time. But to a lot of people, it's like, really, Capri? That's that's kind of hypocritical. But that's why there's a Blue and Capri, the musical motivational movement. God loves unconditionally everyone. And to me, it's our duty to give love unto everyone. And I add music because music moves and heals the soul. And this particular song by Yolanda Adams, for me, was one of the songs that I was listening to in the beginning process of putting together um, the Blue and Capri musical motivational movement and really to put together myself I was listening to this song and encouraging myself through the process to continue to believe and, and never give up on myself because coming out of survival mode, I was now fearful and timid and unknowing of who I was as a person and it was like starting over again so I had to build up my self esteem and, and my knowledge of life with my personality and talents, I had to figure out what am I going to do with all of that? Because the second I stepped into a room just because of God given spirit feelings or connections or talents or whatever it is that I have that attracts people, for me, I have to give something number one to keep people at a distance because that's a lot for me and I still have a huge social anxiety which is why it takes so long for me to put out videos like this one here because once again it opens you up and it puts you in with people and for me that's a that's a hard place to be growing up in abandonment zones and stuff like that and not connecting with people or having an emotional uh, affection you know with people it was a physical affection but it wasn't an emotional affection in in all of my life but I sidetracked and some things are just supposed to be and that's why it's the glue impromptu uh, segment we can call it that in the living the self-help project as well um, I have a script right here in front of me but as we all know that's glue baby uh, welcome to the Glue and Capri Musical Motivational Movement. As I get it, I give it. Those of us that are wanting to do better and be better and have better, this is for you. For those of us that don't know how to get better, this is for you. And, and everything that I'm doing is, I'm learning it as I go. Um, I pace myself because uh, 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 to whom much is given, much is required. And, and we have to give up much to do those things that are required. So 
this is an adjustment for me. So I appreciate each and every one of you that's been riding this ride with me from my space all the way over here to, to Facebook. Um, let me get to what this script is about because now I'm laughing at myself and just I'm feeling at home. And, and, and this for me, as comfortable as it is, is still a fearful place to be. But that doesn't mean, like you, I have to work through my fears to get to where I'm supposed to be. That's blue, baby. Um, let me see what am I supposed to say right here. Here's a glue birthday shout out to all the Torians in the house. Um, this is my 39th year here on Earth. And every year in the process of growing in the last seven years with Glue and Capri, it's a different stage for me. And this stage here, you guys are going to see more videos. Um, videos I've shot over the, la the last seven years that I've yet to show you. Um, for certain reasons and stuff like that, I wanted to get into myself and get to know myself so I could find out about my true blue self and um, pace this thing in a way that I can do and be everything I'm supposed to do and be and give and receive everything I'm supposed to give and receive. Um, so to all Torians, happy birthday. Thank you all for still being with me in this 39th year. And um, thank you for still being with me on this ride as we grow and, and do things differently um, with Blue and Capri. Uh, let me see, to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. I know it was this past Sunday, but I verbally wanted to say that I hope you enjoy your blue day. To all the single moms out there, that's blue, baby. I appreciate you all in my pinky toe for holding things up because you didn't have to. You could have just let things fall apart. And and for those of you that are doing a glue job, that's glue, baby. I appreciate you. For those that don't appreciate you, I appreciate you. Um, right now, I have on my T-shirt, Genius by Birth, Slacker by Choice. Um, I've had this T-shirt since the beginning. You can see the bleach stain. You can see the, let me see, the hole right there. Is that one over here too? Right there. And I'm just refusing to let it go because, whew. It's been here with me on my ride, and it's just something to me that I want to hold on to till I die. And um, genius by birth, slacker by choice. We all, at some point, act or carry ourselves or feel as if we know it all. And I'm not going to say we all, but a lot of us do. And we slack in carrying through on what we know to get us to the better side. So when I'm working on things, or I feel like I've been slacking. This is one of my motivational pieces for myself that I put on. But of course, as I get it and use it for myself, I bring it here to you all or wherever I'm at, you know, when I'm out doing um, blue in the world, per se. Um, this is one of the t-shirts that I wear because I want us to realize that we have a huge control in what we do and how we do what we do yet we choose to slack and sometimes we don't even know that we're slacking because slacking has become a part of our day to day and we don't know that there's other options which is why i also bring to you the glue and capri musical motivation and movement because i know a lot of us don't know the the how to's or the where to goes and things of that nature so to keep it at the bottom line one two three abc i like to simplify things because i do know from where I come from and I do know that I'm not by myself. So um, that's Glue and Capri, baby. Let me see here. Um, some Glue shout outs right now, or should I say shout ups right now. Um, Miss LB, Miss, Miss Latanya, um, I see that your child is in the hospital. Uh, glue prayers to you and your Marie, and I definitely hope and pray that everything works out uh, for her and you. Miss uh, Hughes, Miss Shanice Hughes, it will get better. Just hold on and don't allow their loss of having you in their life to become your loss of having yourself in your life. You deserve to be your best you. Um, Spidey and, and anyone else, I have to, I, it's a long list, but I definitely want to give a shout out to um, Spidey. I appreciate you for reaching out and asking where have I been and how things have been because you haven't seen me post it. For those of you that inbox me the same thing, that's another reason why I take my time to post things, to do things, to move in this blue thing, because I know and see and feel that 
somehow, some way, my spirit has an effect on other people's spirits. And in knowing that, for me, that's a lot to handle, to deal, to, to receive. Yet, I take ownership in it and I intend to do my best with it. So when you all see me going away for a while, it's just either I have a number of blue things going on that don't allow me to do what I want to do, then there's the fear of avoiding it because of the growth that I'm not accustomed to. And then knowing that someone else can feel better because of something that you do, even though I love helping people. When, when someone tells me, Capri, where's my glue fix? That becomes a responsibility. And for me, that's a lot to do and to deal with because that's a relying person on you and that's real you know and that's a true thing and I rely on people to make me feel better which is why I call them when I'm down therefore I get it I understand it but now knowing is a totally different place for me to be you know I've, I've, I've been in this zone and been doing this I've been myself forever I'm just now seeing myself and seeing the effect of my human nature, my spiritual self, and that, that thing on other people. So there's a responsibility to me because if I'm going to be influential on someone else's life, I'm going to be conscientious of how influential I can be on that person's life, per se. So I don't want to negatively influence anyone to do anything. And, um, you know, so I didn't know I was going to go there, but that's Capri, baby. Um, let me see what else I'm supposed to be talking about. Scotty, congratulations on your doctorate. That's glue, baby. Keep doing your thing. You sing as well as you go to school. Whichever one you want to do, that's glue. Be you, be great, Scotty. You keep doing you. I'm proud of you. Seriously. Um, they told you, you cuckoo for Cocoa Puzz, girl. You are truly your true blue self. You are you and... and can't nobody do anything but respect that. Uh, Latoya, they Toya asked me a question this this past week while I was out, and she said, "Capri, you only show up when when it's time for you to host something or to MC something, and we only see you online when you post your videos. That's that kind of stuff the celebrities do. What's up with that?" And I started laughing because I'm like, "Wow, okay." Uh, that comparison and that word in myself always makes me cringe. I do what I do because that name I never wanted associated with myself, but because of societal eyes and the fast life today and, you know, the way you do, the way I do things and that thing, people tend to put that, that title on me, but all I can say is I have a social anxiety and I like to stay to myself and that's all I know and being around people overwhelms me, it, it, it's a lot for me. And I like to have a barrier between myself and people, but I'm breaking down that barrier. So no, never will Capri do that celebrity shit. And that's S-H-Y-T, why the why? Because sometimes some shit just has to be said. And I'm working on not cursing because I can use this mouth for better things. That's that conscientious, influential Yeah. But uh, uh, that's Capri, baby. So uh, never that. It's just... I'm a down-home girl from the ATL forever. I love Atlanta, and I'm from around the way, and I like to just live and be chill in my everyday. So, no, never that. And um, because of that, I, I, I definitely take take things slow. So um, even when I do get to my Oprah status back here, as I'm often called Oprah number two, I still want to be able to come in touch and hang out with you. That's Glue and Capri, baby. Uh, let me see here. How many minutes we have? Oh, I got to stop. Be you, be great. Start your upper movement today for tomorrow. Is it promised? Please go out there and get yourselves tested for HIV AIDS. Know that God loves unconditionally everyone, even you. And it's our duty here at Glue and Capri to give love unto even you. That's Glue, baby. 20 minutes go by fast when you're living in your passion. That's Capri, baby.